sisters, how y'all doing today? Come on in with the movie. I'm coming in with y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on in. Ooh, y'all. Y'all ready? Because I am. <laughs> hey, y'all. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? Me. This hood girl to the hood. We have a new movie. It is uh, Shrimp Fettuccine. Mm -hmm. And this is December. This is scene one. Take one. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. How y'all doing on this Thursday? Oh, I had to get off of that computer at work and Give me something to eat, so thank God I have an hour, so this was not long to cook, so let's say prayers, and let's get ready to eat, because I got to get back on that computer. So, y'all ready? Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, blessed, and awesome day. Thank you for helping me do a good job for American Airlines. Oh, thank you for divine favor, mercy, and grace in each and every one of our lives. My God, my Annie died, and I... I said thank you for taking her home. She didn't have to suffer. Rest in peace, my Aunt Helis. I love you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, let's toast. We got water. This is Thursday, pre-weekend. Uh-huh. This is it. Whatever you do, I want y'all to do it good. Yeah? Do good work, too. So, salut, salut, let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back. Thank y'all for looking at the last video. Thank you. Do y'all like y'all water really cold or room temperature? I like my room temperature and it's easy to uh, drink it to y'all. Okay, so look here. This is what we got, y'all. This is what I fixed on my lunch break. Shrimp, shrimp fettuccine, y'all. Look at that. Don't that look good? Get your forks. Come on. Get them. Take you some. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Give me some. All right, let me dig in. I have 35 minutes. Uh, oh, I have 35 minutes left. Y'all, now I'm busy today. Because, you know, tomorrow, Friday the 18th, is my last day on this project. So we got a lot of them 3,000 letters. Ooh, shoosh. It's a lot of y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it, y'all. Y'all y'all see this smoke? It's, this is hot. Y'all, I wanted this, too. Yeah. I took the shrimp out yesterday and seasoned them, you know, let them sit and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what it tastes like because I didn't taste it. I wanted some Alfredo, but I didn't want to go to the store. Mm. Mm -hmm. At first, mm. Mm. at first I wanted Alfredo. And I was like, you know what? That's okay. This is good. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Mm-hmm. I put that red bell pepper in there too. Now I wish I had some garlic bread, y'all. I have some yeast rolls, you know, just put it in the oven for 15, 20 minutes. But when I thought about it, it was too late. Mm-hmm. 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 It's so good. All that garlic. Mm -hmm. All that garlic. Who y'all? I don't have nothing to say. Talk about the day. I'm happy. I want to be off this project. I think I have 200 letters on this next rack. <laughs> I was like, oh, goodness. I got two more reps, unless they gave me more. I don't know. I ain't even look at it. 
Oh, damn, that shrimp is good. Mmm. Oh, yeah, y'all. My Aunt Ellie's. She got a wing jaw. Mm-hmm. That's my daddy's uh, sister. So she'll see him again because, you know, he died as well, my, my father. So he will see his sister. Mm-hmm. And, uh-oh. And it was only her, her husband, and her one son, and they're all gone. Mm -hmm. All the brothers are gone. There's one more sister left, and that's my Aunt Linda. We talked this morning. No, it's two of them. My Aunt Lady B. They'll be coming down probably this weekend. So, you know, when I when I when I think about death, because you know what the Bible said it's a celebration, you know, there's no more sickness, no more pain, you know. Um my prayer today and this morning and All through the day is, I have to thank God for bringing her home, you know? Because she told me, last time I seen her, she was already frail, you know? She told me, when I die, don't cry for me. She was 82. She lived a good life. She really did. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, she was uh, one of the older girls on my father's side. And uh, y'all know my grandmother died having birth to her 13th child. And Aunt Helis raised her sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. She was a devout Christian. Always, you know. Mm -hmm. I know Uncle Leroy, her husband. He's gonna be happy to see her again, you know? He was a fun, he was a fun uncle, you know? Every time I gave a party, me and him always on the dance floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I will miss her. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm one that can say I go see my family. So when death comes, it's not hard because I saw them, you know, before they died. I mean, I've always told my family, you know, why do y'all wait till people die to go see them? They can't see you. Crazy that people do that, you know. Our middle brother, that's what he does. 
We'll see him at her funeral. That's it. He don't come to people's birthdays. He don't come to dinner at, at uh, no holiday days. We don't see him until death. And that's pitiful. He don't even answer our calls. He don't call us back. He don't text us back. You know that anger he had for our mother? He act like we did it to him. And we didn't. You know, all of us have some resentment from my mother. But, you know, if you don't forgive, I just think that's what it is. You you know, I don't think none of the, go the go our brothers, the guys, forgave her, you know? I don't, I don't think they have because they hold grudges and they don't come around on holidays either. Mm. You know, when people are grown, you got to let them do what they do, you know? If y'all already know, I told y'all a long time ago, I'll say it again. I told my family again and again, don't cry at my funeral if you didn't come see me alive. Don't do that. And I told them because if I had one last breath, I would raise up and slap the you-know-what out of you. Mm-hmm. That's what I said enough for me. Oh yeah, I'm four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do y'all feel about it? How do y'all feel about death? You know, you know, people who lose their mothers and fathers, they every year they get down in their spirit. I celebrate it, you know. I, I make my mind remember all good stuff, you know. Yeah, you do miss them every day, you know, especially in seasons, you know. But you got to understand, they not here on this earth. <laughs> Thank God for that. Mm. No trouble, no pain, no agony, no defeat, none of it. So they happy. Those days are long gone for them. And I thank God for it, you know? That's the first thing I said this morning when I got the news. Thank you, God, for bringing her home. She was sick, but she did not suffer, you know? That's a hallelujah moment right now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Y'all got a corner left and I am done. I don't think I can eat no more. Look at that. It looked like a lot on the camera, but it's not a lot. <laughs> but I'm full. I think because I had a, a pack of peanuts. I think peanuts really do curve your appetite. Mm. And two bottles of water. <laughs> So, if I can ask you guys, my beautiful men and women, hoosters, that pray for my family, you know. 
-hmm. And it's time. But look here, y'all. We're done. And we only have one minute, so I canceled the time. How about that? You know I love y'all, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to sing yourself out? Because, you know, music is beautiful to our souls. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> y'all ready? Let's do it. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do today, do it good, do it with love, do it with a purpose, you know? Yeah. And forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Bye.